Welcome back. Men's Ice Hockey beat reporter Matt Mugno is in the studio to talk about the teams consistently and the weekend sweep. Let's take a look. The Bobcats swept their weekend home series against conference opponents the Colgate Raiders and Cornell Big Red. The Bobcats down 2-0 surged back with a power play. Quarterback Zach Metzik contributing to all three goals in Friday's 3-2 victory. In a sold-out M&T, they defeated Cornell in a 9-save shutout. They've gone 7 for 37 on the power play, and they've scored three of those goals this weekend. They've scored 28 goals, one-fourth of their goals scored on the power play. Against Colgate, they had nine chances. Against Cornell, they had five. Prior to this weekend, they scored three power play goals in six games. I broke down the power play two weeks back. It's historically a problem for the Hamden heavyweights. The 1-3-1 one -one system seemed to carry the Bobcats this weekend, but it went three for 14 overall in the weekend sweep. Colin Graff has been a notable addition to the unit in that Ovechkin office and DeYoung is delivering as the bumper with Metza at quarterback. Yanni Perez recorded a shutout, only facing nine shots on goal against Cornell. Pecknold and senior assistant captain Ethan DeYoung in Friday's presser prefaced that the Cornell matchup would not be skill hockey, but a grind. We've seen the team struggle to score against unranked LIU and surrender three and five minutes to unranked Maine, following that with a 6-2 victory. We've seen the team blow a lead to North Dakota in game one, then break a game wide open the following night. Emily, Tino, is consistency a problem for the Bobcats? 